and I've been basically looking at analytical hypnotherapy, the, um, the parent-child model, uh, bar hysteria. I came up with a really good metaphor that I thought I'd share with you today because I think it's really, really important. Now what we're working on is um, things that are affecting people in life uh, as an adult, things of fears and things like that. So one of the examples that I'm going to work on is um, today, it's just a hypothetical example, is, is somebody as an adult who has a fear of approaching, say, the opposite sex. So what we have is we have this uh, adult here, represented by the uh, big monkey, um, that has a fear of approaching um, the opposite sex. So this could be a <coughs> male or a female. Now what happens is this is the kind of protective exterior of the adult. So what it does, it will be somebody who kind of says, no, I'm, I'm not interested in talking to them, um, I'm okay, and stuff like this. But secretly, they kind of have this vulnerable side that wants to form a relationship, which is represented by the smaller uh, monkey. And, and this is where this, uh, this vulnerability, uh, this fear um, is experienced. So what we have is we have the kind of adult monkey, uh, the sort of critical parent, as I call it, uh, and then we have the sort of frightened child, the adapted child behind that's frightened of, of approaching the opposite sex, um, you know, for, to start a relationship or whatever. And, th and this is the same for anything. So if this was a fear of, uh, fear of being bullied, a fear of heights, uh, things like this. So what actually happens, these fears are actually created during your life when you're young. So if you imagine your timeline, that this is when you're born as a child, and what happens is as you go through life, um, um, something happens to the child. And this could be that this child, say it's a boy, um, could have been rejected by its mother. So the, the child, I don't know, say before the age of seven would say, hey, mommy, mommy, come and look at this picture I've drawn. And the mum could be doing the washing up or whatever. And the mum said, not now, not now. So this child becomes really hurt. And this actually stays at that age. So it doesn't actually grow up, but what happens is, later on in life, as the, the, the organism, the human being grows up, we get this, this child is stuck back at that age with those vulnerable feelings and is protected by this big sort of bodyguard in front. Now what you will notice is when people are in these situations where they want to um, do whatever it is, it could be public speaking, but for this example it's approaching the opposite sex, is that these people regress to this child. Now what, what happens and what I notice in therapy and with friends and everything else and colleagues as well is that when they're faced with these situations their body language changes to that of say this was created at age six, a six year old. Also the voice tone will change to that of a six year old as well. So what's really important is what we do is if we take this model is in order to sort of heal the inner child what we need to do is we need to sort of get rid of this protective doorman, this protective security guard. And there are different ways to do that. One way is to obviously use relaxation, and then we get it to fall asleep. Obviously, as long as it assumes everything's safe, and we get access to communicate with the inner child. Another way is through ego reinforcement, so that we distract that part. But if we use um, relaxation and hypnosis and hypnotherapy for the sake of this example, what we do is we relax the bear, sorry, not the bear, the monkey, the, uh, the security guard, and we get access to this part of the personality, so we can actually talk to that and negotiate it, ne negotiate with it. What, then what we actually do is we create this, so this part becomes the adult part of the personality, and these two parts start discussing with each other. I'm not going to go into a massive amount of detail, but basically what they do is the young part, the, sorry, the older part today, that person today, will share all its wisdom and understanding with the younger part. So they negotiate together and this part will educate this part, say look it's okay, it's safe and everything else. And then this part finds a way to change the behaviour. So what we're actually left with is actually this, which is quite sweet. So we actually get the adult part looking after and integrating with the child part of the personality. And therefore what happens is when they go into these future situations where they were in the past nervous about approaching the opposite sex or whatever the fear or is, we actually get this integration of the two so that this is supported by this so it doesn't trigger those old feelings. Um, and I think that's quite a good metaphor. I just thought I'd share that with you today. So thanks for watching everybody and take care. See ya.